This is my laptop, an old HP ProBook 650G1 that I managed to get on eBay for only $20. As always, I'm on a mission to try and get this laptop running Minecraft the best it possibly can. So far, we have optimized Windows and the Minecraft in-game settings. We have upgraded the laptop's CPU, RAM and SSD, but we still can't get the maximum performance out of this laptop. In this video, I think I know why. There is one thing holding us back and that I'm pretty sure is our operating system, Windows 10. The main problem with Windows is that it's just getting more and more unoptimized as the different versions come out. Windows in general is severely resource intensive. It demands a significant amount of CPU, RAM and storage space, which is what low end computers and devices such as this one just don't seem to have any more. Laptops and overall lower end devices have limited hardware, which overall will lead to poorer performance on that. Right now we're running Windows 10, which came with this laptop. However, Windows 10 is obviously not the latest version of Windows out right now. We've got Windows 11. However, this laptop does not support updating to Windows 11 because it doesn't have a TPM or secure boot option. Now with a couple of workarounds, you can actually get Windows 11 running on this laptop, as you can see on your screen right now, but that's not without its caveats. The main reason is that Windows 11 is just not very well optimized for lower end hardware. So I probably wouldn't recommend it. Now, while you could just stay on Windows 10, Windows 10 is actually falling out of support at the end of next year, 2025. And it will continue to have security updates, which is very important to patch vulnerabilities in Windows. However, for the first time, Microsoft is actually gonna be charging a subscription service to have security updates. Later versions of Windows 11 coming out this year are actually gonna have adverts in the start menu. That with the Copilot AI, which is just thrown in your face in the taskbar, it is just incredibly annoying and very resource intensive for lower end devices, just like this one. Windows is also gonna start limiting customizability on Windows 11 as well. So the future's not looking very good for Windows 11. It's not looking very good for this laptop either. So what are we gonna do? Well, it's quite clear that we're gonna have to start looking at other options. So the best option for this laptop is Linux. Linux, if you don't know, is an open source kernel, which is free to modify, distribute and use completely free of charge. Linux is used across so many different devices from supercomputers to servers, to even mobile devices such as Android phones and tablets. Linux is known for its stability, security and flexibility, so it makes it an incredible option for pretty much any device out there. Each version of Linux has its set of features, a package manager and a user interface. The most popular versions of Linux are Ubuntu, Fedora, Debian, CentOS, and everyone's favorite version, Arch Linux. So let's go ahead and install Linux on this laptop. Let's do this. If you've ever made a Windows USB installer before, it's pretty much the exact same for Linux. Now, one thing that I like about Linux is you can actually try out your version of Linux before you commit to installing it on your drive. I tried out some of the most popular distros of Linux on this laptop. I started with Ubuntu, which is quite a popular one. This one is laid out a little bit weirdly, but you get used to it. The problem with Ubuntu is that it is, for a Linux distro, incredibly bloated, which would probably not be good for performance on this laptop. Don't get me wrong, it would probably be better than Windows, but I think we can do a lot better for this laptop. It's very user friendly as well, so new users to Linux, I definitely recommend checking out Ubuntu or some form of Ubuntu. The next version of Linux that I tried out was called Fedora, which I've actually never done a video on on my channel before. This one's quite interesting. It kind of reminds me of Ubuntu in a way. It's got quite an interesting user layout. It is probably something that I need to look at a little bit more. I'm not too familiar with Fedora. I have used Nobara Linux before. Fedora itself is pretty interesting. And if you guys want to see a video on Fedora, let me know in the comments down below. Another distro that I tried was called Puppy. Now I get quite a Windows XP vibe from this. I know for sure it's very lightweight and very good on older computers, but it also doesn't really look like a very nice user interface to be honest with you. 
I would say if I had like a really, and I mean really old laptop that I wanted to try and breathe some new life into and get it working again, say like an old XP laptop that I still want to use in 2024, then QPRP makes a lot of sense. Now I know that there are many distros out there and I can't cover them all in this video, but there is one out there that loads of people have been screaming at me in the comment section to try out one of the most popular versions of Linux, and of course, that is Arch Linux. Now, while you can install it completely through commands, I am not that advanced. So instead, what we're going to do is use one of my favorite versions of Linux, which is called Kashi OS. Now, I've never done a video on Kashi OS before, but I know for sure it's incredibly good for performance. It's also the version of Linux that I use to break the Minecraft FPS record, so I know it's one, super lightweight, it's two, very good for performance and FPS, and three, well, it's just Linux, and Linux is just better in every single way. Now, it's worth bearing in mind that I installed the XFCE version. By default, I think it comes with KDE Plasma. There's also a GNOME version as well, but I've gone with XFCE because it's very lightweight, which would be very good for a low-end laptop such as this. So in terms of the layout, it's very familiar for Windows users. We've got a start menu here with all of our applications that come pre-installed. We've got a file explorer here, courtesy of Thunar. And we've got our console as well here, which you're going to be using quite a lot in Linux. Let's face it, especially Arch Linux. We've got clock and calendar, Wi-Fi, sound, battery. Yeah, it's very familiar. I do like the desktop wallpaper it comes with as well. Looks very nice. In terms of pre-installed stuff on here, we have got pretty much no bloatware, no adverts or anything like that, unlike on Windows. The Cache OS browser, which is basically just a reskin version of Firefox, let's be honest here. We're going to all apps here. As you can see, we've got a little list of things, but they all have a use, unlike on Windows. So, in order to install Minecraft on here, we need to go ahead and go to the Package Manager. This is a little bit like the App Store. So you can install all your popular packages through here. They're all sorted into categories and stuff. You simply just tick the box, press Install, and you're good. Now, to get Minecraft, it's a little bit trickier. It's not under the Games section, which is a little bit annoying. So what we need to do is we need to go into the Repo section here. And there is so many repos available to us on Cache OS. So what I decided to do was I just typed in flat pack like that. And then again, just tick the box, press install. And yeah, there's lots of options under flat packs. So we should be good there. Once that's installed, just search Minecraft and Prism Launcher comes up, which is a popular open source launcher for Minecraft. You can manage multiple instances of Minecraft. So all different versions, different mod packs. You name it, it's a really cool piece of software. So I've gone ahead and ticked that and installed it. You can also get Java through here as well. So just type open GDK and you can get Java 11, 17, 21 or 8. Loads of different versions of Java available to you. Right, let's waste no more time. Let's load up Prism Launcher and let's see how Minecraft runs on here. So first of all, we're going to be trying Minecraft 1.20.6, which is the latest version of Minecraft at the time of recording. We're going to be going completely vanilla, no mods or anything like that. We're running Java version 21. So let's see how it runs on the $20 laptop. Right, so I've just spawned in a new world here because the last one was just way too much ocean. And as you can see here, even with some like extreme hills and lots of chunks to render in, we're still staying above 60 FPS, which I'm incredibly pleased about, to be honest. I'm amazed at this performance. I know loads of people have been telling me to try Linux, and I was going to do it eventually, but I had no idea how well the FPS would be on here right now. Now, bear in mind, this is vanilla. We don't have any mods or anything really changed. If I show you the video settings here, they're just the basic kind of fast graphics, six render distance. And it'll probably be even better with our FPS optimizing mods as well, for sure. Honestly, this is just, I can't believe the performance on this. This is incredible. Now, it's not all sunshine and rainbows with Linux on this laptop. There are a couple of caveats. The first one is my trackpad just does not want to work. So I've had to instead plug in a mouse, 
which is what I'm using to control the cursor. I don't think there's any trackpad drivers available for it. The keyboard works just fine, which is good. This laptop was the only laptop that actually came with Wi-Fi support. All of the rest, I either had to install a Wi-Fi driver, or I'd had to like tether it to my phone through Bluetooth or something in order to get a Wi-Fi connection. Yeah, it has been a bit of a challenge getting Linux up and running on here, but to be honest, the performance was definitely worth it. All right, let's try and get the most FPS in Minecraft on this laptop. We may as well. <gasps> 700 fps what so we've got 1.8.9 and we've also got optifine so these are the settings that we're going to be using so yeah we've just got all of our animations off we've got pretty much the settings on the lowest they possibly can be and we're just in a super flat world here just trying to get the most fps in minecraft on this laptop I really want to try and get a thousand FPS on this laptop. Come on. You know what? We may have to employ a small window trick here. There we go. 850 FPS. Wow. We are performing so well on Linux right now. Okay. Let's try and just do a quick little F1 test in small window modes. A thousand FPS. We've done it. We've got a thousand FPS on this laptop. I honestly never thought I'd see the day. That is insane. It's probably the best for performance. Really smooth performance in both 1.8.9 and 1.20. You know what? Let's install some optimized mods on 1.20 and see what performance that gives us. So I've just gone ahead and I've installed it here. If we go into our mods here, as you can see, we've got so many FPS enhancing and boosting performance mods, which should hopefully help improve our game performance even better. Let's just try and test this laptop's performance to the absolute limit. Let's try an amplified world type, which should be very challenging. And they say to only use on beefy computers. And this is by no means a beefy computer. It's a $20 laptop that I got off eBay. Let's see how this performs. Wow, look at that cave. That is insane. So look at some of this stuff. The $20 laptop's handling this like a champ. Yeah, I can see what they mean by needing a beefy computer. Some of this stuff is quite a lot to render in honestly but i mean the laptop's handling it i mean if we're doing this on windows one minute would be on like 200 fps next minute would be on like two but look at how well this is running this is honestly insane i did not expect this whatsoever i could play like this i could play on this laptop perfectly fine now look at all this stuff that we're rendering in and it's just it's just doing it i love it Honestly, I think Linux is the answer for this laptop, in all honesty. It can just handle everything. Let's try and go on a server. Let's see what performance is like on there. The Hypixel Lobby. Well, it is, honestly, not dropping in performance whatsoever. I mean, yeah, we're getting under 100 FPS now, but realistically, anything over 60 is fine. Let's be honest here. We're on Hypixel, just running around. There's lots of players with capes and cosmetics and particles and stuff all flying about. And it's fine, honestly. The performance is really good. I think I'm definitely going to do some more Linux videos. It's actually insane how much performance we get compared to Windows. I would do a benchmark, but I'm not sure if CatFrame X works on Linux. Come on, let's try and win a duel. 1.20. Hey, there we go. $20 laptop, absolutely killing it. And yeah, this is quite a big map here. We've got, you know, big structures, tall roofs and stuff. This laptop is honestly a champ. So, in conclusion, while the $20 laptop does lack quite badly in hardware, and it's definitely not the best laptop on the market, I definitely think that installing Linux on this laptop is the best way to go if you want to try and get the maximum performance you possibly can out of this thing. It works on pretty much any bit of hardware out there, and it really harnesses the most performance you can possibly get out of your devices, so I definitely recommend. So, what are your thoughts on Linux? Have you tried it on your laptops out there? And if so, what's the performance now like? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching this video, and if you want to check out my last video where we upgraded the hardware of this laptop, then click here, and I'll see you guys there.